Raila Amolo Odinga. The name itself carries weight, a resonance that echoes through Kenya's tumultuous political landscape. Born in 1945, he inherited not just his father's name, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, Kenya's first vice president, but also a legacy steeped in the fight for independence and social justice. This legacy would profoundly shape Raila's path, molding him into a figure of unwavering resolve, a constant presence in Kenya's ongoing struggle for true democracy. From a young age, Raila witnessed firsthand the complexities of Kenyan politics. His father, a staunch advocate for the common man, clashed with the ruling elite, exposing the deep-seated inequalities and injustices that plagued the newly independent nation. It is fairly clear that there is pressure and desire that I should leave the government. The authority concerned has, however, showed reluctance to say so openly to the public. If I thought that there was the slightest chance or putting things right from within the government, then this desire to remove me from office would not worry me as indeed it has not done for the last one year. However, Wanainchi, my honest opinion is that the present government has reached a point of no return. It can only do for the people the little that the underground master allows it to do. Its guiding star has become personal gain. I therefore find it impossible to be part of it, and my decision is that from now on I should be free to join with Wanainchi in demanding that their voice be heard. These formative experiences ignited a fire in young Raila, a burning desire to challenge the status quo and fight for a more equitable society. This desire was further fueled by his education. After completing his studies in East Germany, Raila returned to Kenya, armed with a keen understanding of political ideologies and a deep-seated belief in the power of democracy. He understood that true freedom extended beyond the mere act of independence. It demanded a system that empowered the people, protected their rights, and ensured equal opportunity for all. Thus began Raila Odinga's lifelong journey, a relentless pursuit of justice and equality for his people. Kenya in the 1970s was a nation grappling with its newfound independence. The air was thick with the promise of a new dawn, yet the path to true freedom was fraught with challenges. The euphoria of liberation had given way to the harsh realities of governance as the young nation struggled to find its footing amidst internal and external pressures. The single-party system, initially touted as a symbol of unity and strength, began to reveal its oppressive underbelly. The government, under the guise of maintaining order, started to stifle dissent and curtail freedoms. It was in this climate that Raila Odinga, imbued with his father's spirit and his own unwavering principles, emerged as a vocal critic of the government. His father, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, had been a prominent figure in the fight for independence, and Raila inherited his passion for justice and equality. Raila refused to be silenced raising his voice against corruption, human rights abuses, and the stifling of political dissent. He spoke out fearlessly, knowing well the risks involved, but driven by a deep-seated belief in the need for change. His courage resonated with many Kenyans, particularly the youth who saw in him a leader willing to challenge the established order. The young generation, disillusioned by the status quo, found hope in Raila's defiance and vision for a better future. This defiance, however, came at a heavy price. The ruling regime, threatened by his growing influence, sought to silence him through intimidation and imprisonment. Raila's activism attracted the ire of the ruling regime, leading to his detention without trial on several occasions. Each arrest was meant to break his spirit, but instead it only strengthened his resolve. 
These experiences, far from breaking his spirit, only served to solidify his resolve. In the confines of his prison cell, Ryla reflected on the sacrifices required for true freedom and justice. He understood that the fight for freedom required sacrifice, and he was prepared to endure whatever hardships came his way. His determination became a beacon of hope for those who yearned for change. His imprisonment became a rallying cry for the opposition, transforming him into a symbol of resistance against oppression. Upon his release, he was greeted by throngs of supporters, their spirits lifted by his unwavering commitment. Through his unwavering commitment to his beliefs, Ryla Odinga planted the seeds of dissent that would eventually blossom into a full-fledged movement for democracy in Kenya. His leadership and vision galvanized the opposition, uniting them in their quest for a more just and democratic society. His unwavering spirit in the face of adversity served as an inspiration to a generation yearning for change, solidifying his place as a beacon of hope in a nation yearning for true freedom. Ryla's journey from a young activist to a symbol of resistance is a testament to the power of conviction and the enduring human spirit.